Hi, this is Douglas. And this is Nate at PCC. Let's do a telemedicine visit in PCC EHR. Okay, first off, schedule an appointment. Schedule an appointment for telemedicine? Can't I just bill for a phone call? Yes, you can, but a telemedicine encounter is more than a phone call. You may be using video, you may want to review history, review systems, make additional chart notes. Okay, okay, that's true, and, and that way my schedule makes sense too. Okay, so I'll go to the appointment book. Uh, I'm in the appointment book. Uh, I find a patient, got a patient. Um, am I going to use a special telemedicine visit reason? Most pediatric practices do. A telemedicine visit reason makes other steps a bit easier. Okay, so I'll, I'll do a telemedicine sick all right, uh, here I am. I'm, I'm scheduling this uh, right now for Dr. McCoy. Uh, I'll put the encounter right uh, here. Um, maybe share some info about telemedicine consent over the phone. Maybe take a quick note here. Um, and otherwise, it's just like any appointment. Right. Next step, click the telemedicine checkbox. Okay. Uh, what's, this, uh, what's this link box for? That's the link for how the patient will connect to the visit. There are lots of telemedicine vendors, Doxy.me, Anytime Pediatrics, Zoom Healthcare. PCC did some research and has an article on learn.pcc.com about different telemedicine vendor options that might be good fits for your practice. At some point, your practice will have a connection link for the patient, and you can drop it in this box. Some services have a static waiting room link. In that case, you can have them ready with a dropdown. Okay, so you're saying I shouldn't just use YouTube for telemedicine or, or stream healthcare on Twitch or do it on Twitter? No. Not TikTok or, or Vine? Chibi? Definitely not. Okay, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to set the link. I'm going to save my appointment. Great, I've saved the appointment. Uh, now I can uh, go back and change that link if I need to, like uh, maybe if my practice creates those telemedicine sessions later. That's right. Uh, maybe the front desk just schedules the appointment and does the telemedicine separately. Whatever works best. Okay. Hey, uh, a big question. Uh, I'm just realizing I've got to get this link to the patient and the family somehow. How am I going to how am I, how am I going to get them this link? The link will pop up right in the patient portal for them in the details of their upcoming appointments. And yes, you can also copy and paste it into an email message or share it another way as well. Okay, okay, T time for a visit. So, what do I do? Did you check eligibility? Did you send an appointment reminder? Confirm other information with the family? Of course I did. My practice does all those things already using PCCEHR's great tools. And we can see which visits are telemedicine visits by this camera icon in the rooms column. Okay, great. And I, can just, I could just open one up and get started? Your practice can use the patient check-in button to update information, help the family with the portal, and pass balances, but you could also just double-click to open the patient's chart. And get started. Okay, I know PCCEHR. Uh, I could use the medical summary and other chart sections on the left, uh, and then I'll click Arrive Patient. Right. PCCEHR knows this is a telemedicine visit, so... You've got that telemedicine icon at the top. I recommend you set the visit status to let the office know where you are. Hey, and I've got the links again right here in this telemedicine section. That's right. That's the URL you'll use to connect. Depending on your configuration, you may need to copy and paste it into your browser. You've got the patient's connection link handy, too, if you need it. Okay, so I'm going to talk to the family, and I'll, I'll take notes here on my chart note. Uh, you know, actually, Nate, I, I haven't charted a lot of telemedicine visits before. Is there anything I should make sure I put on my practice's customizable telemedicine chart notes? We know many offices put a consent section at the top, like we have here. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, can I, can I actually collect vitals during a telemedicine visit? You can, and your practice can decide how you want to record those. You might want to set up a new component for reported vitals or a disclaimer text on the chart note to indicate how the vitals were collected. Okay, we could probably talk for a long time about how to make a great telemedicine chart note. Probably need to make a cool video about that at some point. <laughs> right, uh, but I'm just going to, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll put in a diagnosis... 
All right. And, um, you know, I'm not going to do any orders right now. We're just doing this as a demo. So I'm going to click bill down here in the lower right hand corner. Oh, got to save my changes. And now I'm ready to bill. That's right. Your practice put some handy telemedicine visit codes on here. Uh, definitely, you'll have to work with your biller to customize these. PCC has some coding recommendations, but coding a telemedicine visit is a rapidly evolving issue. Okay, so I know mostly I, I, I pick a visit code. I might adjust any other codes I might need. Uh, let's see, I'm going to pick uh, audio video. This is the synchronous communication 992139.5. I'll click next. Um, I'll, I'll confirm my linking and my units and uh, make ready for billing. Am I done? Uh, did you sign the chart note? Oh, okay, yeah, I signed the chart note. And great, sign. It's signed. Now I'm, now I'm all set. Your job as a clinician may be done if you really finish charting everything, but the biller's job is next. Okay, wh what does the biller do? Well, back here on the schedule screen, the biller can see ready to post. Okay, so I'll pretend I'm the biller now. Uh, looks ready. The chart was signed. I'll click ready to post. Right. Then use the post charges protocol that's down here. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Problem. Uh, this is a big one, Nate. Uh, we scheduled that appointment and the clinician saw the patient. Uh, but for billing, we need to set a, a telehealth place of service or it won't bill correctly. Uh, the claim might get rejected. Yeah, the place of service issue is changing a lot right now, too. But if you need it, that's right here in the appointment details. OK, uh, let's see. I can select a billing place of service history ah, for telehealth. There we go. Boom. Did PCC think of everything? Maybe you can review and add billing diagnoses and procedures, even switch to a modified code if you need to add additional claim information and enter payment information if you have it. OK, OK, very cool. That's all in a post charges video, I'm sure. Uh, but, but importantly, I can click save and post right here uh, and the claim will be queued up with the correct telehealth place of service for now and the telemedicine visit codes that we're using for now. And we can go on to the next patient. You got it. You're done. OK, uh, a quick note, this video demonstrates a lot of new functionality that PCC is still testing as we deliver it to clients. And a big thank you to all the pediatric practices out there who contributed to helping us design these solutions, and we still need your feedback. We need your requests and ideas so we can make this better and better. If you need help with any of these features, or with configuration and setup, call PCC Support. We are open and working from our home offices, and we want to help. Thanks for watching.